Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we embarked in just about the longest shrine yet. It took a good three quarters of the episode just to complete this shrine, and I wasn't even taking my time. It was just a very lengthy and uh, drawn out shrine. It felt like a, a mini dungeon, like an actual proper mini dungeon, and it was kind of refreshing. We also rode the Lord of the Mountain. I'd say we captured or tamed him, but I don't think we did either. I think he let us ride him, and then he went about his way, and I still don't know what to make of that. This time, I'm gonna shoot this eye, and then I'm going to fur further explore Tabantha. Oh, what is this, a, a Knight's Claymore? Or, oh it's, a, oh, it's a Korok Seed. I think that's the first Korok Seed we've ever seen properly guarded by enemies. That's odd. So yeah, we're exploring more, uh, trying to stall just a little bit longer until we go into uh, what looks to be the Rito Village. I'm not sure, it could be something completely unrelated. I guess stalling isn't the proper word because there's still stuff to be discovered, like... Is that a... a talus? That looks like it's a talus. Gisa Crater. Talus. Maybe? Oh, yeah, it is. So is this how talus are formed? They're actually just meteors. I mean, that would make a lot of sense, but... It's... weird, considering then how many meteors would have had to fall to the... The planet at that point. Uh, okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for ancient cross. I made it orange to make it better, easier to see, but that still didn't quite do it. Okay, you, sir. I need to unequip this bow. This bow is terrible. Uh, I actually one of my favorite bows I found is the falcon bow. As strange as it as it sounds, because it the draw speed is so incredibly quick that you can just kind of point and click. It's just a it's like a it's almost like having a hit scan weapon in games. Okay, chop away, choppy chop. Yeah, that's the kind of damage I can get behind. And dead. Yeah, that's what you get for crashing down to my planet. Now leave it, leave my pl planet alone. Oh, diamond, good, good. Uh, that, that's another thing. If you go to my inventory and look at my gem count, it's it's very... I mean, rubies are fine, but it's severely lacking because I've had to use so many uh, so many gems in order to craft the the circlets and the, the earrings. So, I'm, I'm kind of poor right now. I mean, I can... Let's not mention that I can sell my inventory for probably like 80,000 uh, rupees, but I'm still kind of poor. Hello. You're... Kind of making it cold in here. Whoa. Uh. Okay. Okay. Needlessly complicated Korok. I'm pretty sure this is just a one stone solution. Just bloop it right in the center. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, but what, what I was saying. We have we have gotten a ton of Koroks to the point where I believe our count as of the two we just got is 293 Korok. So we're almost exactly one third of the way through the the to total Koroks in the game. And I am definitely addicted and will need to go to counseling after this LP is over in order to overcome my addiction. So, where are we going? Uh, we could kind of just skirt this. You know what, sure. Let, let's skirt this, this cliffside and then go to the Rito area next episode, because then that that makes sense. I'm guessing there's going to be a shrine or something? Hopefully soon, because again, this is already going to be a long episode with the, the end slate alone. Oh, I'm sorry, Wolf. Ah, I'm really... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break you in every way. There, there's our area, but we're bypassing that in the hopes that we find something? Even if it's just a boss, I'll be content with a boss. Okay, what is this? Dragon Bone Mire. Of course, it's... All the dragons seem to be near Mires. Maybe they were so big that their bodies created Mires, like their blood was acidic or something. Also, I, I just realized I need to be wearing my Korok leaf, because there's probably... Yeah, there's a Korok here. And we're not getting a shrine blip, which is odd. I would, I would think there'd be, like, something there. 
In fact, that's so interesting looking. Even though it's probably just going to be an enemy fortress that I need to go check this out. Let's see, what's what's here? I mean, obviously just enemies. Uh, here, let's let's cause a bit of havoc. Do I, do I still have the ancient bow? Yes. Let's shoot that. There. Cause a lot of F FPS lag. And then while that happens, we'll cause another distraction with that. And then we'll just sneak by. I think that works. Do it again. And uh, yeah, that totally works. Let's just slip right by. They won't see us. And they actually didn't see us. Wow. I, I'm i impressed with that. That worked. Just shooting bombs. And it was enough to cause distraction. See... <laughs> You can tell when I, I love stealth builds, when I, I go the stealth route, even while not wearing my stealth gear. Which I haven't worn too much recently, actually. What? Let's see, there's a... Okay, there's a Korok. And there's... There's a this. Is that all this giant stone is? I think so. Although there is some snow over there. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it looks like there's snow heading heading towards the Rito village, which is weird. I kind of considered... I expected there would be snow going forward, not actually in the Rito village. Uh, we're still in the same... We're still in the same region. And there are a giant obscene amount of stones down there. Which, of course, as is the, the case... As I threw that down the cliff means that we have to go get them because there are <laughs> there is an entire army of Koroks waiting for us where'd the stone go did I did I oh there's the stone I was gonna say did I despawn the stone is that a bug but no no we're fine at this point I, I think I think where we're ending the episode off is when I reach the 300th Korok. That that just seems that seems all too fitting considering how many times I, I stopped to go get Korok seeds in an episode. Let's see, what is down here? A bunch of water which we can't swim in? And just snow? Really weird area here. It's kind of a mixture, which I'm fine with, because we haven't really seen a, a, a huge mixture, and I guess that's why I don't particularly enjoy the uh, the Goron region. It's probably my least favorite part of the game, uh, is because... Oh, hello, moose. <gasps> we can ride the moose. Even if it's for a short time, we can ride the moose. Oh, I live for that. Okay, I've also made some food as a precaution. Where is it? Uh, this? Yeah. Do I have a short one? No. I, I'll just do this. There. Oh, I live for this. But I, I think getting 300 Koroks is fitting. No! Um, you know... Okay, this this guy's penned. So I think I can do... Is... Kill... Kill him. No! Where'd the moose go? No, the moose is gone again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Moose? No! Moose! No, Moose! Moose! He's gonna despawn by the time I get to him. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe not. I can't... I couldn't mount him. Oh, that's sad. That's... That's so tragic. I lost the Moose. Okay, but what I was saying is 300 Koroks. I think that's where we're gonna end it off. That... Oh, actually, or a shrine. Which I can see barely. Yeah, we'll end it off at that shrine. So I've told, been telling a bunch of people, oh, hello. That's unexpected. I was expecting a Korok seed. But I've been telling a bunch of people, um, kind of my theory, because a lot of people have been wondering if there's going to be a third DLC pack coming to Breath of the Wild. And as of the time of this recording, there has not been any news on such a thing. Oh, uh, get out of the water. Get out of the water. There hasn't been any news on such a thing. But... What I've been thinking is, um, for those old salts that are familiar with kind of the history of, of Zelda development, 
Uh, you'll know that Majora's Mask was made on the same engine as, um, as Ocarina of Time. And because of that, ah, uh, because of that, I cannot get it. Wait, can I get in there? No, but I can see it. Uh, I do not have, let's, I guess, circumvent this. Okay. Um, what was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they, they made it on the same engine, and I've kind of been expecting that they do the same thing for for um, Breath of the Wild, because they've they've made this this really great engine, and it, it runs really well, people are enjoying it. It, it. There's a lot that you can build off of this, unlike other Zelda games where kind of what you see what is what you get. There isn't a lot of open-endedness uh, to, to it, where you can... You can build a bunch of cool dungeons. It's usually also I don't have a shield equipped. It's just kind of it. It's designed very narrowly for the game that you're playing. How on earth do I get in here? Like, I'm really wondering how do I get in here? Uh, let's go back around. And so I I've long since since even when the game first came out I've said. They're probably going to give it that treatment. They're probably going to just make another Zelda game in the same vein as... We gotta do this. The same vein as as this game, um, building off of the same exact engine. Oh, hello. Is that how I get in? No? And they actually confirmed that a couple months ago. They confirmed that the next Zelda game they make is going to be off of the Breath of the Wild engine. Uh, and they also, if you'll recall earlier in this series, where I've said that David and I had had a, or Dave and I had had a conversation uh, where we outlined like the, what the best Zelda game was, one of the things that we had talked about, and I have a huge list somewhere, I have no clue where anymore, but I had a huge list. Uh, one of my biggest, biggest desires for uh, the next Zelda game is that it would be multiplayer. And uh, I believe that's what they confirmed. They confirmed that it's going to be another game based on this engine, or on this engine. And it's indeed going to be multiplayer. So, already, already, just a year out, they've confirmed the next Zelda game. Okay, now I really need to find this, this shrine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this it? Oh, is this it? Yes, it is. And I'm in a new region, which is accidental. It's very accidental, actually, but you know what? We'll we'll roll with it. Man, this feels like there should be a story to this. This, like, it's all torched out, and this is cool. This is so cool. I feel like I'm Nathan Drake. Okay, where are the? Oh boy, I was gonna say where are the the blue zombies that like absorbed the, the magical sap, but. No sooner had I said that than blue things made of sap appeared, so that's I, that's kind of creepy how apt that was, so I'm just going to go go into the shrine as quickly as possible. Steady thy heart, Makara Shrine. We're steadying a heart, apparently. Uh, do we get a torch for this, or are they just supposed to act... They, are they expecting us to just use weapons? I guess I could just use arrows. That that works. In fact, I don't even need to. I don't even need to consume arrows. I can just use the light. Oh goodness. Oh, great. Okay. Ah. Uh, huh. This is actually this is a maze. This is very much a maze, and I should probably crouch for this. Okay. Go through here. Hopefully, I won't run into a dead end. It doesn't look like I will. Get across. And go! Go! What did this do? Oh! Oh, hello! Ow! Hello! Ah, the timing! Ah, the timing! There! Got it! Got it, that one too. Didn't get that one. Come on. Got that one. And hopefully I'll get this one this time. Come on. And send it right back. Okay, that works. Uh, we can use Cryonis to place it below ourselves. 
and get this actually wait before I do that because a wall is probably gonna open up or the water is gonna drain let's use this to raise ourselves up get the chest and then go do the same thing for the switch bomb arrows times 10 I have no complaints about that considering I used a bunch of bomb arrows to get in here and for the switch the wall opens I was not expecting that. That that really took me by surprise. I was not expecting the wall to open and the torches to almost go through the wall. Okay, button. And it stay. Oh! I was not expecting that either. I was not expecting the Indiana Jones, but I guess no one ever does expect the Indiana Jones. Okay, I need to run before that thing comes back down. Okay. We have lava. And... How do we... Oh, wait, that's metal. Got it. I'm smart. Thank you. Inside is a... Ancient core. Cool. I I can use that. Because one of the things I also discovered in between episodes was that uh, you can use ancient arrows at almost insta-kills... Ah! Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ow. Oh, this is not happy. Come on. Okay, got it. Oh, what I was saying was, you can use ancient arrows, and it it uh, doesn't it, it it doesn't insta kill or it kills Lionels, but or not Lionels, sorry, it kills Guardians, but it doesn't uh, make them disappear, so you can still get the drop from them. Okay, that this was a shrine, <laughs> like sucker punch the shrine. Whew. Ah, uh, stupid you. Is there a way to get out of here quick? Because that'd be great. I'd rather not have to backtrack all the way through here. But if that's what I... I look so like a, that's what I'm forced to do. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next time, I think we're going to... Well, in between episodes, I'm going to backtrack here, hopefully get some more Korok Seeds, get up to the 300 count. But then, starting next episode, we're going to go from Narrow Hill once again, up the road as we're supposed to go, to Lake Totori, which I believe will will harbor the Rito people. We'll finally get to see them. And now that I'm remembering now, I need to keep my ear out for someone with the last name of Sun, or with Sun in their name. And then that will also that'll also help us complete the Terrytown quest. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Next, or I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time for another episode of Breath of the Wild. See you guys then, and enjoy the very long end slate.
of stuff then the warm doublet which only gives us one defense and the ruby circlet which technically is way better than this but not once i upgrade it once i upgrade it i'll be set for life oh yeah okay but i did say i want to go to and talk to the elder ah, and i i will fulfill that promise at least to look ah uh, but there are more shops oh wait the, oh wait this is not a shop <laughs> uh, i'm just gonna leave